All right, so let's start this broadcast with what is happening in Afghanistan where there's been a retaliatory strike to the devastating twin bombings that took place at the Kabul International Airport that was under the control of the Americans. Now, according to reports, the Americans have responded in the manner that they always do and they have carried out missile strikes on a particular target that the Americans claim was an Islamic State operative. Now, it is being reported and claimed by the Americans that an ISIS Khorasan member in Afghanistan was bombed by the U.S. military forces in the Over the Horizon operation launched from outside of Afghanistan. The unmanned airstrike occurred in the Nangarhar province. The U.S. Central Command has said that no civilians, interestingly, were killed in the strike, although it was a pretty big missile strike that the Americans carried out. The target is believed to be a key planner of the 26-8 attack on the Kabul airport. Remember, the airstrike comes just less than 48 hours after the devastating suicide bombings, which were claimed by the ISIS Khorasan group. The blast killed hundreds of Afghans and also 13 American troops in Kabul. And US President Joe Biden had vowed to avenge the airport attack. The airstrike, in part, fulfills Joe Biden's vow to hunt down the perpetrators of the attack and also to make them pay. The Pentagon has said that it had prepared for whatever retaliatory action the president ordered. And also our correspondent Anas Malik is presently in Kabul and has been tracking developments very closely for us and he sent us this report. Take a look. The U.S. military has said in a statement that it has conducted uh, an aerial strike through an unmanned drone in Nangarhar province, which has targeted an individual that was uh, supposed to be linked or that was allegedly linked with uh, uh, the uh, Kabul airport attack that took place day before yesterday, uh, which killed 169 civilians and 13 U.S. servicemen. Uh, this is the first U.S. airstrike that has been conducted uh, since the Taliban takeover of the Kabul uh, of the city of Kabul and of Afghanistan since the 15th of August now uh, uh, Nangarhar has been an uh, IS hotbed and it is the same place where uh, in 2017 the then US president Donald Trump had authorized uh, uh, an airstrike of uh, MOAB or the mother of all bombs uh, uh, we've seen uh, that this is a claim and uh, this CENTCOM claim also says that there are no civilian casualties in this airstrike. On the other hand, the Taliban have uh, seized control of the outer perimeter of the military side of Kabul airport, uh, hinting that the evacuation missions can possibly end very soon. After that, they, they would possibly be moving in towards uh, the uh, inner side of the uh, Kabul airport's military side, which is now, uh, which is currently being said to be, have been in control of US and allied forces. If I talk to you about the city's situation, there is an imminent threat alert. Uh, there's an imminent, imminent threat of an ISK attack again. And for, with that, we're seeing increased and beefed up security measures with uh, more and more snap checking points being set up by the Taliban and more and more Taliban patrols on the road. Anas Malik in Kabul, Afghanistan for Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.